Our first bit of good news comes out of Canada, the only country where syrup has legal rights and where one family found love in a hopeless place. Carolyn Ellis wasn't going to let coronavirus restrictions stop her from giving her mom a big hug on Mother's Day. She and her husband created what they called the hug glove in their backyard in Ontario, Canada. It is a plastic sheet with sleeves in it to allow hugs while preventing direct contact. Ellis says she and her mother were in tears, but it's hard to say if they were tears of joy, tears of laughter, or maybe a little bit of both. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, I don't want to cry, but this is the sweetest story of a grandma in a full body condom that I've ever heard. Seriously though, this is a heartwarming invention. And like, it's wonderful for that family. And it's also wonderful for shower curtains. Because think about it, normally, shower curtains see us at our worst. We're naked, we're cleaning our butts, we're singing off key. But now, this one shower curtain got outside to see that humans, we're not all bad. So I think this is a really sweet idea. Although, you know, it won't take long for people to start using it for the wrong reasons, right? I mean, now grandmas are getting hugs, but soon two guys out at the bar are just gonna be like, what did you say to me? Oh, hell no, oh, hell no. Get into the plastic, man. Let's handle this shit like men. Get into the plastic. Moving on. There's no denying that one thing we miss the most right now is traveling. You know, seeing new places, visiting your family, fleeing to a country without extradition. Well, now there's a new company that gives you a little taste of travel right at home. Just because you're stuck at home doesn't mean you can't get some airline food. The aptly named company Imperfect Foods is selling the snacks previously given to airline customers and passengers. The company is dedicated to eliminating food waste. So for just $3 a package, you can enjoy the JetBlue crackers and cheese. Yes, if you've been craving pulverized crackers and cheese that tastes like a pencil eraser, well, this is your lucky day. And you know, I hope they don't stop at airline food. Because in my dream world, for an extra fee, they'll also send someone with a strong body odor to sit on my couch and fight me for my own armrest. <laughs> I feel like I'm on vacation already. For real though, guys, who in their right mind, who in their right mind would think airplane food is the thing that people miss most about air travel? Huh? Who wants that? This would be like if Coachella tried to recreate the festival experience by sending you dust and a porta potty. It's just like I'm there. And finally, do you sometimes wish that you could say, screw safety? I'm just gonna grab all my friends and run wild through the streets. Well, it turns out you're not the only one. Invasion of the goat. That was the scene in one neighborhood after a herd of goats got loose. The goats managed to knock over an electric fence and took a leisurely stroll through the streets. Neighbors had to open up a side gate and lead the goats back where they were supposed to be. Nobody was hurt, but there was some minor damage. Hey, 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 hey. shit. Did you see that? Not one of those goats is wearing a mask. Oh, oh, Fauci's not gonna be happy. I will say, though, those goats are tempting fate running through the streets like that when there's a meat shortage in the country. Yeah, because they can run wild in the suburbs, but if they try that shit in the Bronx, my Jamaican peeps will turn them into a curry like that. <laughs> what is? Look here. A first-time goat deliver themselves this. Who are the goat mates? But look, man. It's clear to see what's happening here. Humans have stayed inside for too long, and now animals have forgotten who's boss. And you realize what that means when lockdown is over, we're gonna have to fight them to take back our streets. Yeah, as soon as quarantine ends, the first goat I see, I'm gonna be like, hey, yo, goat, get into the plastic. We handling this like men.